if you're wanting fast food therapy, there's no such thing, okay? It's gonna take some digging, it's gonna take some time if you have difficulties in different areas of your life. So these videos that I share with you are just general. I hope you get something out of it and let me know if you do, drop the comments. And if you want free ongoing insight from therapists, then subscribe to the channel. Moving on. My name is Keisha Martine and I'm a licensed therapist. If you're new and just stopping by, this channel is devoted to all things mental wellness. And today I'm gonna to be following up on my whole out series on anger management. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand on what your anger could be alerting you to. Yeah, so let me get to it. Your anger can alert you to a lot of things, including boundaries, expectations, core beliefs. So in the last video, I took a look at expectations. Today, I'm gonna to be exploring boundaries. The reason why I'm touching on this is because they're closely intertwined with expectations. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. If you missed that one, here. Oftentimes we can get really frustrated, irritated, annoyed, angry, all the things when we haven't articulated our expectations or maybe we weren't even aware of them. So let me give you an example. Let's say you got a buddy and he came to you hard up on cash and says, man, I could really use um, some help with this. Can you, can you front me some money, right? And you're like, yeah, sure, no problem, dude. I'll give you some money. So you lend them the money with the expectation that that person would pay you back. All's well right? Time goes on. Month passes, two months pass, three months pass, nothing. So in that example, the person that I described being you, hypothetically, had expectations of a friend that he lent money that would pay him back, but it was never discussed. What happens if you didn't discuss it? You get resentful, you explode. Um, you might even like do the silent treatment and withdraw completely. Just like, man, I ain't gonna talk to that dude. What is up with that? That is messed up, right? You might just swallow it. For others, you might become kind of aggressive or yell at the person and that can shut down communication. And maybe you got an argument and you just walked away. If this that was an example of how your anger could be alerting you to expectations. Not only is that anger a buildup over time and frustration over that person not meeting that expectation, but it can also help alert you to boundaries. So how can this be related to boundaries? Well, let's take a look at that. But before I move on, if you like this content so far and you're finding it helpful, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Moving on. Let's reflect on that hypothetical situation. Let's say the friend eventually paid you back and everything's good, everything's fine. You squash it, you're all right. Fantastic, moving on. But then, months down the road, he comes to you again. He's like, hey bro, I could use some, some help. Can you help me out again? Then what? What do you do? Well, let's look at your options. Number one, repeat it. Give him the money, don't discuss it. See what happens. Maybe you have a slight uncomfortable feeling, but you just ignore it and you can go back to business and you're like, okay, yeah, he's my buddy. I'm just gonna give it to him. We can all kind of imagine how that might play out, right? All right, option number two, you set the expectation. You say, yeah, sure, man, I don't mind helping you out again, but I need your assurance that you're gonna pay me back by this time. Not bad, not bad, right? All right, option number three, no, I'm not comfortable with doing that. Hopefully, because I know you're smart, you ruled out number one. We don't want to rinse and repeat all the things that we talked about that I'm not going to go into because it's a lot. What about option number two? Well, that's pretty good, right? You set the expectation, you learn from the mistake. What's the catch here? Well, you've got some evidence that this person probably may not need the money like they say they do, right? In that case that I gave you, you bought new tennis shoes and you know you confirm that that's what he did with the money. I don't think I went that deep into it, but I think it was kind of implied anyway. You know what I mean? And so you have proof there that this could be potentially a problem, again, for a second time, right? So that's the problem with number two. Option number three, no, I'm not comfortable with that. This is a boundary. Yeah, you don't need an explanation. You don't have to go in and defend why you decided that you're not gonna give this person money. What does this have to do with your anger alerts? Well, in that particular situation, right, you were angry, you're frustrated, uh, it was building up over time, and you know that was an alert that, hey, this situation's not okay. And so you learn from that and you can identify where you need to set boundaries for yourself. In this case, you gotta be honest with yourself. The guy didn't pay you back, you used the money for something else, 
and you didn't seem all that hard up in the first place and basically you didn't seem to have any clue about how uncool that was. So when you're thinking about boundary setting, you gotta think about what you're comfortable with and what you're uncomfortable with. It's better to have boundaries and please and be honest with yourself and, and be okay with being honest with someone else, even if that person may not take well to them or throw a tantrum or whatever the case may be. Um, that'll show you really who you need to have in your life in the first place. So if you feel like you can't say no for some reason and you find yourself in those patterns or those cycles of doing something for someone or going above and beyond and then them not like reciprocating or being aware of it or acknowledging it or respecting that you're doing those things, then you're leaving yourself open to having those problems with your temper or, you know, building that up and all the things, right? Think about that when you reflect upon situations that have made you angry. Ask yourself, was there a boundary that I needed to set? Did I set one? And if I did, was it violated? That'll kind of give you an idea of what your anger is alerting you to in the future. In this situation, an example that I gave you, you could reflect back and be like, yeah, okay, I need to set a boundary. I need to stop giving friends money um, or this particular friend money. Long story short, if you have difficulty managing your anger or find yourself having situations where you hulk out, all the things that I talked about, taking a really good hard long look at where you might need to have boundaries can be really helpful in anger management because having boundaries can help alleviate unnecessary stress can help you not overextend yourself. If you have a hard time setting boundaries or knowing when to set them, then paying attention to your emotions, particularly anger, can be very helpful and a useful guide in terms of alerting us to when we have to say no to someone or we have to let someone know, hey, I'm not okay with this or it's making me uncomfortable or I don't appreciate that, et cetera, et cetera. It's all about self-care and holding yourself responsible and people that you care about responsible for their stuff as well. Let me know if you got something out of this or maybe the other videos. I'm always looking to improve. Maybe I can expand on some things a bit more as well, as much as I can. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted when the next video in the series comes out. And I hope I'll be able to share that with you guys soon. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.